Hello, and welcome to All I Do Is Fail. I'm your host, Tom Elwes. I'm joined today, as ever, by my co-host, Mr. Ali Woods. Hey, Tom. Hey, listeners. How are you, Tom, today? Are you okay? I'm good. I'm good. I'm tired, but good. Tired? What's, what's going on? Ah, oh, meetings. Meetings. Always oh. meetings. Oh, all right. Cheers. Sounds more Thank, important than Thanks for is. the invite, Tom. Cheers. Appreciate that. <laughs> All I do is fail going solo, as I always knew it would. Yeah. Uh, that's why I asked for us to go on the same couch, because I thought maybe if I'm close to him physically, <laughs> he'll accept me into his heart. But there we go, listeners. Well, anyway, this is my last episode, so thank you very much yeah. for having me. Yeah. You've been a great regular <laughs> guest. <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right, okay. I've been watching Inception again. It's been, it's been, re- it's a really good film. <laughs> that's what you've been doing all day. Yeah. So, you know, one person's trying to live life, others got meetings, but apparently someone's <laughs> actually connecting with the common man. But yeah. what with Inception? In your high flag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 True enough. Okay. Yeah. Well, look, I'll try it anyway. Right. We are joined today. We are honoured to be joined today by the hilarious comedian, Mr. Glenn Wall. Hello. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Do you know, I saw Inception in a, in a cinema in North London. Huh? and uh, Was right it inside another cinema? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it felt like it. <laughs> right when it started, um, somebody brought in, they were a carer for a busload of special needs people. Okay. That I had to watch try and understand Inception <laughs> <laughs> while I tried to understand Inception. <laughs> and a lot of very uh, right on North London people trying not to giggle because it was the director commentary was on. Everyone knows what's going on. No one's trying to mention it. That's <laughs> a, wow. Yeah. Is going on. That there. was the best movie I ever saw. And <laughs> I didn't I didn't like Inception. <laughs> there, was, there was a couple of times I started mm-hmm. laughing and I, I couldn't help it. I just you know, if you see something funny, you you, you something funny's happened. I can't yeah. you know <laughs> can't I don't control it. it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Makes sense. Right guys, we are gonna move on to our first section, as we always do, which is the news. That's the jingle. Okay. It's yeah. just that. That's yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you write that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With my own two hands. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit free, freestyle and jazz. Uh, yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, the uh, our first news story is an immigration fail. This is this is the is rapper this about me coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we've got deportation <laughs> yeah. in here tonight. Yeah. So <laughs> Well, and just going? to confirm, you're Canadian. I am. Anyway. Okay, cool. I am. Sweet. So any Canadian listeners in? There you go. There you go. This is your one. One episode and then stop listening. No How's more. it going, eh? <laughs> <laughs> this is of the, uh, the well, thought to be US rapper 21 Savage. Uh, was been living in the US uh, and, and performing in the US for, you know, what everyone thought his entire life. But actually turns out he's from, uh, he's from Lewisham. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's from England. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, he, and he came to the US aged 15, 16. Uh, and just overstayed his visa. And now he's been arrested by ICE, the immigration services in the US. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, and because he's so like, he's so quintessentially part of this like new age American rappers with all this mumble rap where they're like, oh, it's like people from Britain don't, we have like grime music, which is really intense and political. And theirs is all just like floaty kind of rap. And the fact that this is just a jokes guy from Lewisham who's been, just, who's been putting it on the whole time with these like yeah. other American Nailing, rappers. nailing yeah. an American accent. Yeah. Oh, I thought maybe that's why he's been mumbling because he didn't want. <laughs> yeah. Didn't want him, but maybe that's why they're all mumbling. Yeah. They're not, they're not they're from, from America. They're all from uh, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think Migos. he said Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Migos is from Wolves. Like, yeah, <laughs> just from the Midlands. They're all like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they think they've been mumbling. They've just got West Country accents. Yeah. Post Malone <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> yeah. They've been talking about the Black Country, and Americans are just like, yeah, man, slavery in the roots, yeah. and they're like, no. I'm I'm just, I'm just from that region of the UK. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh man, it's it's just so it's so brilliant. Is that how people can get to these levels of fame and just have this this sort of stuff? It's a big that. ruse to keep up, though. Is it? That's that's a that's a long time to to be to be faking your. Have you ever had to fake a lie for a long yeah. time, Glenn? I'm just trying to think if I've ah, had to do it. My whole goddamn life. <laughs> <laughs> I no, I don't think I've. I've Live the lie, so to, so to speak. That's good. So to say, get so well, deep. I, so I, don't, quick. I probably wouldn't tell you on a podcast. This Glenn coming out. Right? I'm, I'm actually 21 Savage. Yeah. 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 No, I killed a guy. Yeah. <laughs> 1994. <laughs> had to move away from Canada. <laughs> but, uh, we'll edit that out, right? Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Tom? You kept any kind of had to keep up any sort of appearances for. Uh, I won. 
once dated a girl who was older and I lied about my age. And, oh. I, and I actually made my mum lie for me as well because wow. obviously I was living at home. Uh, <laughs> what, you told him it was your sister? So, uh, no, no, what? <laughs> no. Say, my mum yeah. would know it's not my sister. What do you mean? <laughs> that makes no sense. No, but no, and you told her that your mum was your sister. No, You're like, no, oh, no. I'm really old, yeah. No, no. This is my sister. I, I like came up with an excuse that I had I just finished uni and I'd moved back home or whatever. I basically I said I was 24 and I was 18. And uh, wow. yeah, and I, I was I was lying through How my teeth. How old was she? Her, she was like 24, 25. Okay. So I, I was lying, and I, in the end, I had hit to the like, Pokemon cards. <laughs> yeah, hit, turn hit. the Marvel's Avengers duvet over but, the other but, side. Yeah, <laughs> put, put my PlayStation <laughs> underneath my bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the worst that was, wouldn't separate you from a twenty-four year old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'd probably have to yeah. take those out, or she wouldn't think you were twenty. Yeah. Yeah. This guy must be thirty. Yeah. He doesn't have, <laughs> The worst bit was pretending pretending to be going off to a, to work when I was actually going to school. That was that was, that was, that was, just come out. Yeah. That was the real low what point. You, you yeah, put your on? put your lunch in a briefcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you wear school uniform? Huh? I was in sixth form, so luckily I didn't have to wear a uniform. Okay. So, but yeah, no, but like you did have to. Or just tell her you're an ACDC. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that explains. Oh, well, was guitarist yeah. for ACDC. That's what. It's yeah, and, it, on. It, and it got to the point where like she like coming around, and I had to like tell my parents to lie for me. And to be give him credit, they did. They, yeah. Wow. Yeah. What? How was that conversation with your parents? I was just like, I think I was like, I was eighteen. I was like, I love her. Um, oh. Yeah. Oh. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Come on. Uh, yeah, it didn't work out. It's How fine. did you meet a, a 24 year old? I was in a, it was in a bar in Canada. Oh, I bet it was. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Bad. And how did you get rumbled? Uh, I, you, I didn't actually. I just, she went, she was from America just, and she went back, she went, she went back to the States. It didn't work out. And then, like, a few years later, I just told her. It was wow. Yeah. I wonder if you were the age of consent where she was from. No, 18. I was 18. <laughs> Wherever you are. You never know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Glenn's b- investigating. Yeah, Glenn. oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I solve unsolved yeah. crimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she just had to, yeah. she, did, she just ran from the country. <laughs> uh oh, might end up on a registry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she found your passport. I'm, pretending she was Amer- I'm definitely American. Gotta yeah, go back yeah, quickly, yeah. quickly. <laughs> wow, Tom Elwood. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That, was, that was, yeah. Uh, right. I thought of one when mm-hmm. you're saying um, when I moved over here uh, for a lady, she gave me a, a Valentine's Day card, and I totally forgot the Valentine's Day. <laughs> so I said, uh, "Oh, what, what is this?" <laughs> what? She's like. It's a Valentine's Day card. I was like, oh, we don't really celebrate it in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that is oh, so, yeah. so sweet. Like, uh, no, she's St. Yeah. Valentine's. That's a Catholic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. Get that. Protestant nation. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's what, one of the things we did to separate ourselves from that British culture. You don't have, yeah, that, yeah. have that sort well, of thing. We it's bet. actually quite well, rude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, did you just think of it off the top of your head? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that is, that is impressive. Yeah, that is good. I just imagine you just with the straight face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, I'm trying to think what else you could get away <laughs> with as well with cultural uh, differences. Yeah. Actually, on Christmas, only the men get presents. Yeah. So that's yeah. 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 Honey, yeah. it's my Christmas prostitute. It's, yeah. a, it's a Canadian <laughs> tradition. Yeah. I, don't, I don't see what the big problem is. It's just like, you're not accepting my culture? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh God, oh, okay. It's a good Wow, that's good. That's right, good. So that's um, good. Cult- using cultural... If I ever date someone from another country, I'll remember that. But what's so, so going back to Twenty One Savage? So nothing's nothing's happened to him. No, no, he's, he's been so arrested. He's, like, he's been arrested and he, detained. Right, uh, and they're trying to you know sort yeah. out. You got to get out of America, so we're going to detain you in America. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so you can't leave until we decide how to yeah. get rid of you. Yeah, it's like sending Oscar Wilde to jail for being gay. <laughs> 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 you go and sit there with all those men and think about what you did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's got that point though. I, mean, I don't know. When people are so famous, they kind of just get away with. Is he famous, famous though? Yeah, he's pretty he's famous. famous in America. Is he? Amongst yeah. young people, he's a pretty famous well, rapper. How the heck did he like how were they paying him? Well, I don't know. Yeah, like I don't know how they would have sorted it out. I, yeah, that's interesting. Someone at some point must have known someone of in power or a producer or something must have known he must like they because they have those checks, don't they, where they're like, look, we need to know now if there's anything you're hiding. Because you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna and, be famous, and, and they must have said, and they must have gone. Look, we'll cover that up. And it wouldn't have been hard for him if he'd just flown back to England just to just to get a work permit, especially if he's got 
if he's getting gigs, you can get an 01 pretty easily. <laughs> but, but yeah, first one, 21. Yeah. First name, 21. But first the, the thing Savage. was, he was there since he was 16, so by the time he was rapping and getting gigs, he probably overstayed his welcome by about five years. Yeah, but nobody would have known. If he just left... Would they not have known that you would... Can they not see the date that you leave? Not... Uh, well... I mean, there's ways to get out of the country without people. Uh, <laughs> 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 the wall, Glenn just the walls film not out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looked no, into the distance. I, I think I think uh, they probably wouldn't detain you if you were leaving on a if you if you were leaving on a expired visa. They wouldn't care, um, and England certainly wouldn't care if you'd overstayed a visa somewhere because they wouldn't they wouldn't specifically know that you were in the states. Um, <laughs> Yeah, he he could have got out of that very easily. Yeah, well, well he, he lawyer, if you're looking for a lawyer, twenty one yeah, yeah, Savage, yeah. <laughs> Glenn Wool, Glenn Wool uh, is available. Yeah. Yeah. He's got he's gonna have the lamest like gangster rap now. Like overstayed my visa. You were pimping and drug yeah. dealing, and I got my Uzi. Well, I didn't do my paperwork correctly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, what, what I don't cross the T's yeah. or dot the I's. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I did see some great memes on the internet of like uh, kids, like um, people giving that the obviously kids in sort of Lewisham claiming that 21 Savage was their cousin and everyone, <laughs> yeah. everyone was mocking them and they were like, oh no, the irony, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 21 Savage, I went to school with him. Yeah, 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 yeah all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just some bloke working in a fresh shop. Yeah, 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 but yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. Right. What, what would you say has seen the biggest changes in the circuit over like the last, you know, five, ten years kind of thing. Uh, just that, you know, yeah. there's a lot of, um, oh, yeah, uh, fake outrage too, uh, which... Coming from the comedians? Well, from everybody, you okay. know, like, like in an attempt to clean up thoughts and speech. Um, and, you know, maybe maybe people just have changed, but that's, the, that's what I used to love about comedy is that the green rooms were just this place of everybody just... You know, there was no no sacred cows, and everybody spoke very freely, and and there was a real love, because um, I, I mean that's the the diversity that comedy always represented uh, has always been there, and I used to joke we used to get. Comic, co cars full of comics get pulled over a lot by police because the cops just can't figure out how everyone knows each other. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. Yeah, what yeah. are you? What yeah, yeah. bank heist are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah everyone's got a certain problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's oh, a goddamn man. A team yeah. in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so true, man. Yeah, uh, and 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 with that, there used to be a real freedom of language and mm. I mean I, I've always stated comics are definitely a breed like uh, you know and it's it's got nothing to do with gender or race or religion we're all just the same and when we find each other it was you know it was like a Ha! Ah, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm not weird in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So many uh, other people get it. Yeah, yeah. When it said, and it was like the Star Wars. It was like the cantina bar in Star Wars with all these different <laughs> yeah. looking faces yeah. and 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 things. But and, yeah, yeah. That's that's sort of going by the wayside now, and everybody's, um, you know, and cause I guess a lot of people are doing identity politics uh, comedy, so they can't be seen to be laughing at it. Um, mm. And, you know, but, you know, and you, you suspect in your heart, like, they don't really have a problem with it. They, they can see the funny side of things. Well, it's, it's, it's people who uh, are fake outraged by everything, I put in the same category as people who are controversial for, for no, it's like, I don't believe how, I don't believe that Kate Hopkins or Pierce Morgan believe half the shit that comes out of their mouth. They just say it because they know it'll pick up traction and, you know, people will like it. In the same way, there are probably people on the other side who are, you know, just fake outraged by everything because if they are and they do scream and shout, they'll pick up traction. It's all just attention on both ends mm -hmm. kind of thing. Truth always lies somewhere in the middle. It's just, you know, either end is probably ridiculous. Yeah. Well, I, I saw this one, um, clip of uh, uh they caught a woman that uh, is she's young too she's only like 25 I, they sort of they suspect her of she's either she's either um a pathological liar or she murdered 25 people she wow. was from alaska wow and they played the clip of um of them like saying we like she was like you, you have to let me go you can't you can't 
you keep me here any longer. You haven't told me. And they went, well, uh, here, here's what we suspect you of. And she went, oh, I'm offended. I'm wow. offended by... <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> like the cops are gonna be like, "Oh, please don't tweet about us." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so you called me a murderer. I'm actually offended. Yeah. That, yeah. Is, <laughs> that, she has that is not your word. That is the <laughs> only way, that is the M word to you. <laughs> yeah. She has murdered 25 people, but she has 200,000 followers who will oh, back yeah. her if she. <laughs> If yeah. she tweets that we're a bad police station, so I think let her go. Milwaukee Let's Police Department. You don't want that heat. You don't want that. I can't believe yeah. in 2019, Milwaukee Police Department yeah. are using the M word on yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's called help to pass away. Dude. Yeah. 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 So, help to pass away. <laughs> so actually, watch your tone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I don't know. I think I think there's a little balancing out act, and I think that's in process at the moment. There's a little bit of. As you, I think you put it right, Tom. There's people getting really annoyed because they say you can't say anything anymore, and there's people getting really annoyed because they're saying people, everyone's being really offensive to them. And I think it'll start it to work fi- out. It it'll start to work out. People kind of find a medium. There, there will be a medium. Come. There was, you know, yeah. Twitter in the last, you know, well, let's say since 2015, 16, when it really kind of exploded, uh, it's would it has led to a massive outcry uh, about injustice in the world, which is correct and fully needed to happen. Uh, and it will keep going on, but eventually it will level out, and you know that's just the way it yeah, will be. You have we'll to just... remember at all of the at the heart of all this virtue signaling, signaling, uh, it's all we're we're a society based on arms dealing. So mm. <laughs> you know, as proud and as good as you want to be, we still sell death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Just grow the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had that. It's such a good perspective. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> That's the, everyone bickering over there, little. Yeah, like, you use the wrong term have, to an yeah. like, mate. You, yeah. you, you pay taxes towards the country. <laughs> Yeah, that's just right. crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you had a soy latte, and you think that's gonna that's gonna cure the hole in your soul? You yeah. can't. We don't have souls. Yeah. We're, we're death yeah. merchants, uh, secretly yeah. starting wars. <laughs> yeah. so. I actually don't use straws anymore. So that's, yeah, yeah. So actually, <laughs> I think you should yeah. cut me some slack. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody cares about the environment, all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'll yeah. I'll show you. Watch Al Jazeera if you want to see the real news. Yeah. <laughs> the environment. That's it. That, a but, death fog <laughs> going over the Middle East. Like, <laughs> oh, whoa. But Dane made the point. He was on Dane Baptiste, and he said about these people who are who are really woke and trendy, having all these avocados. And like I'm going vegan, and, and he's like, you know, avocados are native to your country, right? You realize the <laughs> <laughs> the kind of environmental well, and ecological yeah. impact of flying all these avocados into into <laughs> London <laughs> so you can have them on toast like you'd like to see <laughs> vegans just eat British produce wouldn't you just like <laughs> yeah. it's eating turnips Ro- like, roast potatoes yeah. and turnips again yeah, it'll be yeah. like uh, the, the, it'll be like the Charlie um, Charlie and the chocolate factory diet yeah, <laughs> cabbage yeah. soup yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's what I want to say. If you're a true vegan out there, that's what you should be. Yeah, eating. Cabbage- British produce, hey. homegrown. And I, I will say, you know, if you are vegan, I'm not a vegan. I'm doing meat free Mondays, so I'm kind of a special person. But I'm not vegan. And if you are, fair enough, fair play to you. Like, uh, you know, it, I think it does overall Im- help the environment. But as Glenn's saying, there's a lot of virtual signaling out there, which uh, you just got to get over it. We're all a bit I- imperfect. No one's doing it completely right. It's true. Yeah, it's I true. concur. Right. right, guys, we are, and that was the end of the news. That's the that's the official ending. Yeah, in and yeah. out jingle. Right, Glenn, we are now going to move on to fail of your life. Uh, Glenn, take it away. The floor is yours. Um, I've, I still feel really bad about this. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. But and, I just thought be, there'll be, be uh, some people out there go, well, this is, this is old material, but it did happen. Like, um, oh no, Tom, Tom does material every single week. So don't worry about it. Don't worry. He's only got about 20 minutes, so we're really kind yeah, of sucking yeah, yeah. through. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously he doesn't check Tom Elwes out at Tom Elwes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was, um, it was just after my divorce and I'd moved into my buddy's place. I was sort of staying on this, you know, uh, sort of on the couch, spare room kind is this, of deal. Is this in England or Canada? Yeah, in England. In England, of course. Um, and uh, I started seeing uh, this lady um, and 
she really she really liked me and she's she's a great girl but I, I was just just separated from how long have uh, you been married for uh i think we'd been we'd been married for three together for seven maybe okay wow well, so yeah uh, big chunk yeah yeah um and i was drinking a lot and <laughs> she um she called me up and said oh i want to come over and i said yeah 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 come, come on come over and then I waited for hours and hours and she just never turned up and i was um i was i was really like, uh, i was just just like ah well you know sometimes it's and then she called and she's like um uh, nobody's answering the f door and i was like well you're not at the door mm. and she's like well no i i i'm i'm ringing um or, or she oh she didn't want to ring the doorbell because she said it didn't look like anybody was up, and then I I was I was like oh wait a second, what address did I give you? <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> I sent <laughs> I sent her to my soon to be ex wife's house. Oh. Oh. Yeah, she had, she came over, but what a shithead maneuver that <laughs> was there interaction with the ex-wife and uh there was later um <laughs> yeah like, i've been to your house yeah <laughs> yeah no um, really nice new cat yeah yeah because uh, then um they didn't they didn't meet then but then uh when i was moving out because i actually ended up living in my house for a little bit which sounds um, about right yeah, like, uh, like you know, when you get separated, I moved into the spare room, and we were actually yeah. getting along pretty well at that point, um, just because we were friends at that point. And, uh, and then the day I was supposed to move out <laughs> came along, and um, I called my, um, my estranged wife at work, and I said, I'm making some dinner. Do I do you want, should I leave you some? And she's like, No, I'm just gonna go straight. I'm not coming home tonight. Uh, so I'll go straight up to see my family up north. So I thought, Well, I can have this lady come help me move. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> yeah. Dude. And then round, and yeah, she came home early. I think she sniffed it like, Oh, why is he checking where my movements? Yeah. And they met in the, in in the, the whole master way. bedroom. Oh. She was folding my clothes. Oh. Yeah, they were. Oh. Um, oh, it got really English. I, like, oh, oh, lovely to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> like, oh, my God, it kicked off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's like, the British. That's such a pleasure. Um, uh, how was the trip over? Was yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, no, A41's <laughs> terrible. Uh, yeah. Really, really, really. Yeah. Oh, God. But you just like, just being British, you just know the subtext of that. It's oh, like, I mate. want to die. Like, yeah. It's just like, <laughs> you're literally, you're watching a really polite thing going on, but you just want to die. That's... Oh. I know, I know. I, like, I'd never seen it. I'd never seen it so pronounced. It was, uh, and then, um, wow. then she, uh, they, they made polite conversation, and I. Uh, what were you doing? She, were you? Ah, just, uh, just having a good shoe stare. Might have to get um, these uh, shine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But well, we keep looking at my laces. Maybe they'll come undone, and yeah. I can do that. Yeah, I might as well. Might as well tighten them up anyway. I'm not gonna yeah, <laughs> go down there. Uh, oh, I gotta check, the, check, check out some of these light bulbs too. I think that, <laughs> that one needs changing. <laughs> I'll go. Um, yeah, and then later, like I stayed in the house for a couple of days, and she, over one breakfast, just. Tore into me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I deserved it. But it was, it was very, another very British thing to like let it linger for a day or so before the the destruction at the breakfast, which is interesting. That's a very like. Well, she wasn't mm. there. She went away. Like um, she, she was just draw, She was just coming back to the house. Um, I, I I think to see what you know, like why what, you know, but I, I I thought I'd done it in a good enough way that um, you know, I was just going, yeah, I'm moving out today, just. 
What time are you coming home at? She was, yeah. Aha. Yeah, she she knew it. She knew the signals. She yeah, the... but then then she was able to to you know go off and 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 leave us to it. But yeah, it was it was. Oh. I regret it. I regret it. And then uh, it didn't work out with the other uh, lady, and uh, you know, like uh, she didn't. It was it was wrong to put her through that and at that point in my life. But there's, there's you know, uh, the, there's nothing you can do when you just meet somebody at the wrong time. But uh, I, I do feel bad that, you know, it, it was, I did material about it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. uh, yeah. How soon after uh, did you, did you start saying on stage? Was there like a long process or did you just want to kind of talk about yeah, it? Yeah, I think yeah, I just, it just came up and I, I, I talked about it and, yeah, that's the problem. If once it gets laughs, you're like, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. In retrospect, so you're like, well, well that's somebody's life, yeah. and you know, can not she... bitching good material. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on. It's wrong, but it's strong, so yeah. it's in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a shame when your deepest regret becomes your closer for two years. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. That's, that's Relive that pain every night yeah. on stage. Yeah. God. Oh wow! Oh man! And okay, so you did that at the time, and now do you do you still talk to your ex-wife, or no, is that completely no, just gone? That from was, your life? I think, that's the last thing she ever said to me. When she, wow! Um, well, the breakfast was the last thing. Might have been. It would have been around there. I mean, we still had to get divorced, so there yeah. was some. Um, there was some uh, interaction uh, via email, and then I I moved to America right after I got signed to a big agency, and um, I sent her I sent her an email saying I, I got signed to a big agency. Fuck yeah. you! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I bet she was thrilled. <laughs> yeah. The material about you meeting the other girl yeah, is yeah. working to it. a yeah. T. I yeah. would like to I'd like to thank you for that at least. Yeah. You know that worked. Yeah. Uh, it's it's been the most successful divorce I think I'll ever right, have. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I, I just, I just said, you know, I'd, I would love to still be friends with you and uh, and go out for a coffee. I don't, I don't hate you, <laughs> and uh, I, I just think um, we both uh, made a mistake a few years back, and and never ever did she respond to that. Wow. <laughs> but I've heard, uh, I've heard she's doing great and I've heard she, uh, <laughs> she, hey, what spies have you got? <laughs> yeah. Well, her, um, her sister is a comedian. Oh, uh, oh. so okay. she's, um, she's friends with a few comedians still. And, uh, yeah, he told me that, uh, she's just had a baby and, uh, oh, very nice. she's Congrats. with a new guy and she's doing great and, and, and God bless her for it. And, and yeah. that's all, that's all I want to hear. I just want to, I, I, I love it that she's happy and I, I hold no ill will, but she was married to me at a time in my life where I, I mean, I don't like myself very much from back then. I can't <laughs> imagine what somebody who had to be with me all the time would, would think of me. Yeah. But. Wow. And um, but uh so I know this and you might not know Tom listeners maybe not may not know, but at the moment you're in a happy relationship. Yes, right? very yeah. much so. so. Very much is it so. fiance? Is it uh, Yes, fiance. Yeah, fiance. We've had oh, we had a baby uh fifteen months ago and we're okay. we're we're happy as clams. Oh. How's uh how's having a newborn been treating you? Stressful or okay? I mean it's stressful, but it's it's a far better place for me, you know, because I'm forty four now and I kinda waited a long time to have a kid and in many ways probably thought I never was going to. Um, but it's just, you know, uh, it, it, it's the missing piece. It was like, oh, oh this, is mm. what, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not like I'm not supposed to be hanging out at parties. And like I, the other day yeah, I, without a kid when it's a yeah. kid's party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not supposed yeah. to be at those schools. You should really know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, judge, like, the judge was <laughs> never more clear when, <laughs> <laughs> when he told me, yeah. um, they made these swings smaller. I don't know yeah. What's happened here? <laughs> I uh, I woke up the other day and uh, it was a Sunday morning and uh, my beautiful fiance was uh, sleeping beside me. My son was slapping me on the head to say, "Daddy, let's start the day." And I just had a, a real sense of this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. I'm yeah. not out. I'm not like so many Sunday mornings before where 
I'm trying to hang out with people. Sometimes 20 years, my junior trying. Like, I can still do it. I can still. <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't need no sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and let's get and, more drugs. Come yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I then end up asleep for two days and then <laughs> recovering for two days and yeah, yeah. yeah. You you know um, you know when you're, you it's it's good to know when the party's over. That's good. And do you think do you think that's what people say that you don't really grow up until you have the like the kid is the bit where it's like oh I feel like an adult now. It's because yeah. you're no longer responsible for just yourself. It's someone else, isn't it? Yeah, but it's got it's a funny thing too because you think there's so much to learn and there is, but. Um, it's not like learning in a classroom. You just learn a little every day and it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel ominous. You're just like, oh, well, that's how you do that. And then you watch for that. And it just, it's sort of, you learn, it, it grow. the child grows at the rate that you need to learn. So it's right. not. But it's like it, it was all planned. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like it's like biologically oh, necessary yeah. to the survival yeah. of the human race or something. Oh, yeah. It's our, I mean, just luck, I guess. Yeah. 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 We didn't have baby books back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, they all worked it out. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah. yeah. That's they awesome. also had a high infant mortality rate. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. That's a good point from I actually call yeah. it natural selection. No, no, no. We had this point last, last, um, yeah. last uh, show that. Uh, uh, you know, when stuff got banned at school, like yo-yos and stuff, because it was like dangerous. And Tom was making the point, if, you, if, you, if you're in danger from a yo-yo, like that's you. You should it's not be part selection. of the human race. We should give all and kids yo-yos. If you take away the opportunity, because yes, it's, it's, it's horrible for whoever died in the yo-yo accident. <laughs> But yep. think about yep. think about anybody who got to see that death and how <laughs> funny that would be to watch somebody perish in a yo-yo accident <laughs> when you're still like halfway through thinking, is this part of the trick? Is this an elaborate walk the dog? Yeah. Is this not, yeah. Yeah. He's, got, he's got it in his mouth. Yeah. He's, oh, he got, oh, this man has some showmanship. <laughs> <in his game. laughs> he is committed. Yeah. Going all the way. People clapping along as the kid turned purple. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch the string, just it might still be yeah, in no, 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 Okay. Just move to another country and it will be all right. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Even even a parent of a yo yo accident child would <laughs> to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you knew him at school. Yeah. You didn't even see what he got up to at home. <laughs> yeah, that was him in a public setting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least I didn't waste any money on college. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Well, I well. that would have been a lot of money for school, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, have you got any other fails you wish to share? Uh, God, I could I mean go that, on yeah. all day long. That could be your big one. I mean, often <laughs> often what we have is we have someone, a personal fail, maybe something in life which you have shared with us. Thank you very much. Yep. And then often they do a kind of gig fail. Yeah, if you've got a really bad. It's a kind of horrible gig. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> cut to Glenn just going, no, nah, I'm just smashing yeah, it every yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So people have... Bad one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so you're saying, wait, so they don't why? get a standing ovation yeah. every... Yeah. I thought that was just a polite thing. To yeah, know. why would you do comedy if you're not <laughs> good at it? It's <laughs> weird. <laughs> uh, do you know what? Uh, I, w I did um, I did an interview today at BBC Broadcasting House, which okay, is... Okay, I don't fire. need to pull rank on yeah, us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Before yeah. this pokey podcast yeah, yeah. thing. <laughs> but Bermondsey's <laughs> finest podcast studio. Yeah, shout out yeah, Mooch. Yeah, here he is again. Yeah, 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 the, the production. The biscuit tin or whatever the mm. hell it's called. Don't, mm. don't give away our locations. Fans might show up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, please, think, please you, think yeah. Yeah. you think you, you think that's plural, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've got two parents. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. Calm down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you might have yeah. two parents, but uh, we are now witnessing your yo-yo accident. <laughs> 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 you got two parents. One of them likes the show. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And they like. As we've stated many times, neither of our parents <laughs> listen to this shit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> genuinely, Glenn, yeah. and this is not a bit. Yeah. Neither of our parents have yeah. listened to a single episode. When I told my mum I was I was leaving my job to do comedy, she honestly said, "You'll never get married." That's that word. <laughs> 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 Whatever happened to that lovely yeah. girl we lied about your age yeah, for? Yeah. <laughs> Where did she go? She went back to New York. That's what happened, guys. That's it. <laughs> so, Glenn, okay. Well, you, you, tell, you go and tell your mom that I got married and I'm a comedian. Twice. Yeah, twice. Yeah. 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 twice. Yeah, twice. Yeah. And there are some comics who've even been married even more than that. I know. So, oh, yeah. oh, if you're worried about marriage, it's just some of us have got five, six of those. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Marriages is the problem. Yeah. Double figures, mom. Double getting, <laughs> getting married, very good. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, re the reason it wasn't, I wasn't telling you where I was, uh, was uh, because I walked from there to here. I had, um, oh. I had like three hours to kill. So, um, and I just, because I've lived in London so long, I just kept seeing places where I'd failed <laughs> <laughs> just had shitty gigs yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. or well, even like uh, that's the place I couldn't remember my lines yeah, that's yeah, the place yeah. like walking across the Thames I uh, I saw um, the, Steve Coogan did a the Baby Cow one of the first TV things I did in uh, in uh, England uh, it was a thing where comedians you did your act in weird settings um, mm. and uh, it was uh, you know it was baby cow it was a great company to be in with and uh, they were really excited was this a show called Tough Gig or something like that or no no no, no it, was it was called they're, they're bringing uh, a similar thing back on ITV2 now like, mm. what was it called yeah. what was this called? oh I can't I remember, remember. But I remember I, I saw Dara Breen on that a few years ago and th this would have been Maybe fifteen years ago, twenty like eight, oh, seven, okay. like a long time, and and um, a lot of the comics would have gone on to be um, really famous. And I remember because uh, this is the kind of brain I have. I'm a real thinking man. <laughs> uh, I didn't do my best material because I didn't want it to be wasted. I thought, and I told them, I was like, "Well, yeah, but I don't." I, you know, if I'm at Camden on a Saturday night and gig stuff, I don't want to blow my best material. I did mm. stuff that I thought of that day. Like, yeah. and it was, I was on the boat of the bow of a boat going down the Thames doing material, but you just did it to camera. Um, and uh, Wait, there wasn't an audience. No audience, no, what? no. So Weird. you were just a man shouting on a boat with mm. a camera. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with, with something that I just thought. <laughs> like, it was like something a whole Yeah, but book. tell how the uh, rivers here yeah. are really yeah. uh, wide. <laughs> Ranting like a hobo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a microphone or no microphone? Uh, no, I don't think I did. I, don't, I think you just sort of... Yeah, you moved your arm. Like, you would have had a mic, like a lapel yeah, mic. Yeah. But, I, I, yeah, I don't think it was... Into a, a microphone. Wow. But no, it was. It was just. It wasn't it, like it was. It was an interesting thing to be doing. But I just like what. What. <laughs> what why. Why didn't. Why didn't they do my best stuff? <laughs> <laughs> What did I, they do with the footage? Did they did it go out? Did it get broadcast? Yeah, and stuff? yeah, it yeah. was on, it. It was on TV. I don't, I don't know why they try and do stand up in like weird places like that. There's been a few shows like it. Like it doesn't work with any other kind of performance. Like it's not you don't wouldn't see like <laughs> a play being on a bow of a boat. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Let's say if this person can still play the violin <laughs> on a melting glacier. <laughs> <laughs> well, like music yeah. might work. So I guess you listen to but like anything performance like like a play or like you know yeah. it'd be weird. Yeah, well, that's what all these like games that go on in this show. In Edinburgh, like uh, it's comedy upside down in the dark, and the crowd has sticks, yeah. and you'll be a pinata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that would make comedy hard. Yeah. But that's that's it as well. All the time, the audience reaction when you ask them after the show or like give me a community to go to watch other comedians is always like, yeah, it was good. Yeah, like I would have liked to have listened to it if it didn't have that thing. <laughs> 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 always yeah. a thing. Yeah, that <laughs> Japanese <laughs> woman that screamed in everybody's ear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, she's kind of harshing the I kind of. If, it was difficult to listen to James A. Castle. <laughs> But that's that's always what it is. But it is I don't know. I what what do you think it is? I I suspect it's because comedy has this, and we obviously talk about comedy a lot on this show. But comedy has this thing of like feeling at the same time like everyone can do it, like anyone can make people laugh, and at the same time feeling like these comedians are some sort of like second coming. They should be able to make you laugh within ten seconds, otherwise you're allowed to boo them, kind of. And it's that thing of. 
people want to see what you can do. Like, they want you to compete. They want you to make it difficult to see. Because there's a part of the audience which thinks, oh, well, I could probably do What's it. What's your or, comic? You're funny. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or, like, I want to see how good these people really are because maybe they can't. Yeah. yeah that, do you think it's that? Or do you think it's something else? Or why do you think I mean, I, I don't get comedy? me wrong. I think those, those uh, shows are, are fun, like, companion pieces to comedy. I, I like, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't. I would hope that's not what it all turns to, because I I include roast battle in it too, where it's like yeah, it's interesting, but it's um like the, the there's nothing nothing's ever been improved on from just straight stand up with the microphone, brick wall, basement room, walls painted black, there you go, mm -hmm. and if you you know I I've, I've never seen it get better than that. So. Mm, that's interesting yeah. what do you think of so oh, by the way shout out uh, Roast Battle London follow them mm -hmm. on, on Twitter and Instagram um, it's our friends friends of the show Callum and Victor uh, run that if you want to go down um, but also so what you what are you seeing now or do you, what do you think now of like the rise of over the last kind of 10 years uh, multimedia in stand up and in stand up shows uh, yeah I mean I've, I've used uh, part, well I've had um, little clips to start the show, like a vignette. Mm. Um, you know, I, I, I think it's fine, and, and it's uh, it's some it's the way that some people express themselves. Mm. So, um, it is a bit cheating, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it does break up an Edinburgh show having yeah. a little video. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's it's miraculous, though, isn't it? Like you go on, you stand there, and you talk, and there's more of a tension, and people are more antsy in their seats, and more like, oh, this needs to be funny. You put on a video for four minutes, it can have one laugh in it, and people are like, great video, yeah, loved it. Loved like it. that was really. Yeah. I oh, really especially enjoyed. if that video has music to it as well. Oh, yeah. there you go. That's that's what you really yeah. Yeah. Well, even the like even with music which sort of you know with the, when it, you know, when you pour an instrument in there um I, which i've got no uh, no problem with and, and musical comedy can be very funny but it's i find it's like crowds think it's harder to be a musical comedian where actually if it's rhyme if it rhymes and then there's a beat the joke structure doesn't have to be as strong because people can get it a lot more easier mm. And uh, and you add rhyming into that, and then you're like, well, is it just? Are you just applauding? Are you laughing at the rhyme? Or are you laughing? Yeah, at the, that kind uh, of that satisfaction, mm. that rhythmic satisfaction that goes with yeah. like storytelling and stuff. And then way. people are like, well, he's very, he's a very good comedian because he can also play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> would you? Would, would, would that he's be your pre prerequisite of like a, a concert pianist? Like how <laughs> how funny is he? <laughs> yeah. Does he tell jokes? Or <laughs> yeah. It's got to be Liberace <laughs> out there, otherwise I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, let's get yeah. So, what, yeah, talking of uh, a death fails, what was your worst death on stage? Has it, yeah, has it ever got violent or ever got really uh, just upsetting? Well, I mean, the, the, some of the gigs I had to play in Canada when I was starting out, they, they had a thing called the uh, cabaret license where it meant the bar could stay open an extra few hours on the weekend. Man, but they had to have entertainment at least once a month. Cheapest form of entertainment, comedy, stand-up comedy. So you oh, go yeah, into that's these, true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'd go into these clubs, and I was the opener, like, far in the northern reaches of Canada. And they had to actually hide the comedy nights from the patrons because they hated them. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> so, so it was like, surprise, it's comedy. Yeah, though they used to put uh, ferns on the stage. And uh, like disguise it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's just doing some cleaning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and then they uh, like eight o'clock would roll around, and they turn the hockey games off, and the guy would run on stage and go, "Ladies and gentlemen, Glenwell," and like, <laughs> <laughs> and grab the plants, and the backdrop would unfurl, <laughs> and he'd have to go up there to one like. Shut You'd up, be like, you fucked us, it's a ruse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember uh, one of those. Uh, there was a. Um, a group of loggers that had just come in. They'd been out in the bush for two months, just on their own, and they'd they'd purposely <laughs> sat in the darkest back corner that they could in the bar, just sort of like submariners getting wow. back accustomed to. Sounds uh, so scary. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then 
somebody flashes a spotlight over their heads and I'm like, so where are you from? <laughs> the woods. Where are you from? The woods. <laughs> what do you do? I cut down trees. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. How did you deal with that then? And how long did you have to you do just, that for? Uh, well, uh, the opener did a half, the closer did an hour. Uh, and they, you had to stick to it too. So you just... And, you know, I was living in Vancouver at the time, too, so my material was about, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like the big city or what, you know, and just, you just learn to, you just, you, you just put on a steel glare and a, you know, you might as well try and make it funny because you got to, you got to be up there for <laughs> half, half, half an hour. Yeah, yeah. And, you know. Was it like, if you, if they hit that half hour to get paid, that was the, that yeah. was the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, paid very little, too, just by I I wouldn't suggest any other way to you know you, not, not, nothing scares you after that mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. you know they're like oh they're a bit rowdy in there yeah. you yeah. think so huh? yeah. 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 yeah yeah they've been in the woods for two months <laughs> with an axe yeah. no <laughs> I, I, I like I like gigs where. Uh, where there's just like uh, rogue animals running around the bar. That's, so that's when you know you're at a gig gig. <laughs> so if there's ever like a loose dog or a dog on a string, you know, like no. not like not like Mooch is very cute, adorable <laughs> dog, but I've done gigs where they've been like big old pit bulls yeah. running about the pub kind of thing. Yeah, where it's wow. like if the dog takes a microphone and hits his show, like yeah. I'm not, like <laughs> he's dominant. I'm not going <laughs> to fight that guy with a dog on a string that, you know, like if, if that dog wants to come up on stage, it can. That's fine, yeah. I had one recently <laughs> in Older Shot, shout out Older Shot. And uh, there was commotion going on at the back. And I was like, what's going, what's going on, guys? Because it was, it was going fairly okay. It wasn't terrible, but they were, you know, distracted easily. All right, guys, what's going on over there? Oh, mate. No, no worries, mate. But the, uh, the dog's just farted. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, that's, that's great. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah. I'm being heckled by the odor of a hound. Yeah. <laughs> Good. You can't say anything to the dog. The dog's like chilling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't Get come to where you work and care. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah, I don't know. Very, uh, yeah, interesting stuff. Right, is there there's nothing else you uh, want to share with the group, Fairwise? No, I got to uh, I gotta go to Ipswich and make more bad gig memories. <laughs> 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 what's, your, what's your gig in Ipswich? I don't know. I don't know. But they put it in without asking me one of those ones. Because okay. they, they, uh, used, they usually have to clear it with me. Right. Uh, and this one... I, they I just, sneak in the really bad. snuck in, yeah. Because they don't get a commission if I say no to the gigs. So now it's... Right. I'm dubious. Okay. Right. Uh, is there anything you'd like to plug before you... Uh, My you tour. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, please. Come come see that. It's uh, The details are on the website, glenwald.com. Um, it's it's going it's going quite well. We've sold a few of the first dates out, and we just extended into Asia. So into That's Asia, mm -hmm. yeah. oh wow! Okay, yeah, yeah. you going you going over the states as well? Or? Uh, well, I'm moving back to Canada. Tom's trying to see if you can put in a word with his ex. you know he's grown up now. He's got, <laughs> yeah. a, he's got yeah. some Great stubble. He's got a podcast. <laughs> <you> know, <it's laughs> she's still hanging around the school. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They think for me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I thought really she hope she doesn't listen to this. <laughs> so you thought she was twenty four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, uh, check out Glen Wall. One of the fan fantastic comedian, absolute stalwart of the, uh, you know, at the very least, the British season, see British scene, but across the world, a fantastic. You, you, you act. Be, don't miss out. Gonna be coming back for Edinburgh or anything in the UK? Uh, I was gonna do Edinburgh this year, but I changed my mind. I gotta. I've got the wedding, the tour, and moving back to Canada. Mm. So this that's too much stuff. Yeah. Fair play. Glenn will plug plugging his wedding there. Yeah. If you want to come down, yeah. I'm doing ten at the top well, and yeah. then I'll be doing some vows to kind of round yeah. it off. <laughs> it's cheaper than doing Edinburgh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, it is cheaper yeah. to have a wedding. Um right. And more enjoyable in Yeah, sure. in a lot of ways. Yeah. yeah. Um, right, guys. Uh, Ali, anything else you want to plug? Just still Sunday, third of March, uh, Vault Festival. I sold a few more tickets, so thank you if you bought them. But please do buy tickets to my preview. Um, and uh, I'm in uh, Brighton as well. This is coming up Brighton in May. I'll be at the Black Dove. So if you want to come check out my preview, Ali Woods, a work in progress. Please do check it out. 
Uh, I am also in Brighton, but I don't have the date. Uh, but I do know it's a Great. cafe. <laughs> cafe, was it Cafe Artista? Cafe Artista. Yeah, the yeah. little yeah. rumble there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lovely yeah. venue. If you want to check, venue. if you're in Brighton as well, check out. I think they're on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. The Artista Cafe. Uh, Alexander Voodoo runs it. Lovely man, and they get great acts down there. I was there on Saturday. It was lovely. Yeah. Uh, probably next week I'll have all the details of the three fringes that I've applied for. Uh, <laughs> good stuff. Right, guys. This has been amazing. Thank you very much, Glenn. Thank you too. Thank you very much, Ali. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. This has been All I Do Is Spell. See ya.